Hey guys, today I'm here with my brother Colton and we're going to do a haircut on him today. It's been about three months since Colton's had a haircut and today we're going to start with a four guard and we're going to go down to a three on the sides and he likes to keep the top longer so we're going to scissor cut the top. So let's get started. I am going to start with my four guard on the sides here. I'm going to start down here at the nape of the neck. I'm going to use my comb to manipulate that hair down since it's super, super long. Just to keep everything nice and tidy. Taking my time and moving up around the head here. And I'm just going to take that forward all the way around the head. All the way up to my parietal ridge and making sure I'm flicking my wrist right at that parietal ridge where I'm going to start to maintain that length. See, we're taking off a lot of length here on the sides, so I'm just using my comb to keep the hair nice and tidy as I'm going. And the ear is extremely flexible, so don't be afraid to get in there and kind of move it around, manipulate it. And you can even ask your guest to, to um, move it and hold it down for you if you're too afraid to. So we're going to go all the way up here with our foreguard. And this area right here, as I'm going up and I'm starting to blend with that flick of the wrist, um, we can do our scissor over comb method later. Um, so don't worry too much about blending that right now. I'm just going to quickly go over this side of the head since you guys can't see me over here. Alright, and then we're going to switch over to our three guard. I always like to start with my higher guard um, and go all the way down to my lowest guard. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. Um, I see a lot of barbers start with their lowest guard and go up to their highest guard. I've never done it that way, but it's really cool. And then this way, I'll start down here at my nape and kind of go up and use that flicking motion again to kind of blend up into that four. And you can utilize your, um, having a brain for it here, you can utilize this when your clipper is, <laughs> um, to take it to a three and a half, um, to blend up a little higher up into your four as well. Um, 
So you can go from a three to a three and a half to a four, um, your extender on your clippers, I'm sorry. And that'll give you a really nice seamless blend. See, it'll just transition all the way up into your four there. And usually when I'm doing a fade, I like to go back and forth between my guards until I'm happy with my transition. So I'm just taking that three all along my neck area. Take that up to about my three and a half and take that just a little bit higher. Look down a little bit for me, cool. And then have your guests look down to smooth out that occipital area just so you can have a really nice blend. It's all about just taking your time when you're doing a fade. It's all about flicking your wrist, it's all about that motion, and just making sure your clippers are really nice and blended, you got that really nice angle going on, and really using that extension on your clippers to get those half guards. So once I'm happy with my nape area, I'm going to go over to the sides. I'm going to go back down to my three here. And I'm just going to take it a little bit around the ears here. And since Colton is a younger kid, he doesn't really have any sparse areas. But some guys, like when I cut my dad's hair, um, he is a little more sparse right here around his ears. So you really have to pay attention to if guys have any sparse areas around here where they get a little thinner. Um, you want to watch for any patches where they get thinner because you really want to, you don't want to take them any like down to like a one if their fade goes that low. You don't want to take their one anywhere near their ear area or anything like that. Because I know for my dad's fade, I have to tailor it very specific around his ear area. I'll take his one down here because he likes it really close to his name, but not around here because he gets really thin around his ear. And I'll point it out to me. Um, that his fade gets really really close to his skin right here but it's the same one that I do down here but if I take the one up here it gets it gets really close to the skin just because you there's less hair there so it looks like it's a shorter guard you know so just kind of pay attention to the density of your guest's hair um, when you are doing a fade like that So once you are happy with your guards all the way around, you can kind of clean up the nape area. It gets super itchy if you just kind of leave that hair on there. So I like to just clean up around the ears and everything. And this is when you can ask your guests if they would like a shampoo or you can spray them down. I usually like to shampoo at this point. Um, and then I'll also shampoo at the end of the service as well because a lot of guys don't like to leave with a lot of hair on them. Um, so I'll usually do two shampoos just because. Um, but we are going to go ahead and wet Colton down now. Sorry, I'm drenching you.
All right, and then from here, we are just gonna do 90 degrees all the way around, and then we're gonna over direct our bangs a little bit um, because Cole likes to leave his bangs a little longer. So from here, So I like to let their natural whirl do its thing. About right there. And then I always start from the middle back, which is about right here. All right. So from right here, I'm going to take a vertical section right back here, and I'm going to connect this with the fade that I just did. So I'm going to take this vertically straight out, and I'm going to connect this with my fade right here. And then that's going to be my traveling guide all the way around the head. So, I'll bring it this way so you can see. And that's how I start connect to connect my top half with my bottom fade that I just did. And as I start to pull this top hair into it, it's starting to travel farther. So it's keeping my length, right? So it's over directing to my guide, right? So as this hair travels with me, it's keeping the length. So I'm going to go all the way around and start connecting this side. Just a little bit over here. Haven't done bathroom haircuts in years. Okay. So, I've got a little bit of my back started here. And then, what about from here to here? So, I've got this long disconnection and I've got here. So, to get this started, what I'm going to do is just connect these two from here. So, I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to over direct this back to conserve that length. So what I'm gonna do here is just and then I'm just gonna keep following this all the way down then. now I have this and I have this. Now I can just connect it all the way across, right? So once I have this guide and this guide and I have my middle guide, So there's one side, 
Here's my other side. Okay. So if I pull another cross section here, if I pull this up, I go across this way, I go across this way. I'm just continuing up the head this way. And once I start getting into the bang area is when I'm going to start over directing everything back to conserve my length. I'm connecting everything from that parietal ridge over to the other side. Okay. So now I have my sides connected to my front. Okay. And what I'm going to go to do now is go back down the middle and point cut everything, which just gives it a little bit of texture. And movement, because Colton has a lot of hair, but it's fine. So we like to give it a little bit of texture. And then from there, I like to pull the bangs out and then just make sure everything's nice and straight first. But then I like to texturize them because I don't like your bangs to be nice and straight across usually if you're looking for a more masculine haircut. So just kind of point cut these and texturize them a little bit. Cutting is a nice add to the end of any haircut. Um, once you know that everything is measured correctly and even, um, it just kind of breaks up any lines or adds any texture to anything. Um, I point cut every single one of my haircuts. Um, it's not the most precise or accurate um, type of cutting, but it's my favorite way. Um, it just adds a little pizzazz. And then you can always go and do a little scissor over comb, which I usually take the big end of my comb and I'll just go around my fade line and pick up everything and just kind of go in and notch anything that 
isn't completely perfect to me and just kind of just blends everything super super nice just gives you that extra insurance go in with our trimmers around our ears and around our hairline. But yep. Just a nice little kind of textured, maybe a little disconnected in the front, but nice little fade on the sides and this fence cut. But um I hope you guys learned maybe a different way to kind of cut hair um, to do a men's cut. Maybe today picked up maybe something that you maybe don't do.